Okay, so Nigerian football legend Samson Siasia has had the lifetime ban which was imposed on him by FIFA reduced to five years by the Court of Arbitration for Sports. Um, I still feel it was a horrible deal. Before we get into the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Samson Siasia was given a lifetime ban because FIFA claimed he accepted funds in exchange for fixing a match. And it comes out that the Court of Arbitration for Sports says he didn't take any funds. So flat, bam, bam. So why are we even talking? Why are we even having the conversation anymore? Why is the man even in front of any panel? Why is he in front of anybody doing any judgmental things? Because the man should have been set free once those facts came out. FIFA said he accepted funds. It comes out he did not accept funds. And it comes out he did not accept to fix any matches. FIFA just came up and made up some stuff. And the whole world went with it because they're the almighty body. And they basically scapegoated this man. Yes, I'm using the word scapegoat. Because in 2011, a man, Wilson Raj Paramount, gets arrested in Finland. And in 2014, the man releases a book. And in 2015, he goes on a media run. And in this media run, he highlights how he was fixing matches left, right, and center. Oh my goodness, FIFA, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be the protective body of the game? Aren't you supposed to be the custodian of the game? Oh, I'm sorry, because most of your higher ups were going to prison left, right, and center. But what happened when everything hit the fan? They looked for the fall guy, and that's what happened. Samson Siasia was made the fall guy because Samson Siasia ends up knowing this man, having a conversation with this man. They take that conversation and run with it. This man is gone on a media run. If Samson Siasia did something with him, he would have exposed Samson Siasia. There's no need to keep Samson Siasia's name clean if I'm exposing countries, if I'm exposing clubs. What is Samson Siasia so powerful for that this man would not expose him? FIFA has exposed themselves as one of the most corrupt organizations out there just with this whole case. And the Court of Arbitration for Sports, instead of at least cautioning FIFA, sanctioning FIFA, doing something to let them know that what they're doing is wrong, they continue to charade and give the man a five-year ban. For what? For what? It's absolutely ridiculous what has been done. It is a miscarriage of justice, and I can't believe that something like this is still happening. He had a conversation with a man that you should have banned from the game. You should have had this man's pictures in every stadium saying, don't let this man in. This is the worst of the worst. He had a conversation with a man that you should have protected him from. That's what you should have done. Everything was FIFA's fault. And what did they do? They looked for a scapegoat. And his name was Samson Siasa. Don't let anybody lie to you and tell you that's not what really happened. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.